All right, guys, so uh, you can hear the weather radio. It's been starting to thunder, and uh, it decides to leak a little bit, and it takes off and quits. But uh, now that it's, it's down like this, I'm going to take you with the camera here. I'm going to try not to be shaky. If it's shaky, I'm sorry. I didn't pull a pole along. Ooh, there we go. But uh, this is what me and Dawn and Dawn, Dawn and Dawn. And our other sister Dawn. <laughs> uh, you got to find a... There's a guy line back there somewhere. But as you can see, there's my tent on how I set it up. Tell you what guys I'm really I've been really impressed with this tent like I like I said it's an awesome tent the tarp is outstanding um, there's our actually this is our big family tent right here but uh I can get through these lines here guys this is kind of how I got it set up the storm is actually coming in from the west and uh, so I got my tent set up that way um, so I got air circulation if I do have to put the rain tarp on there because it can blow right in these air vents um, but I got this tree here to protect me and uh, everything is good. I'm uh, really impressed with the tent. It is an awesome tent. So we'll see if I can get back out of here without killing myself. Guys, it's, it's so hot out here that I've actually, I've got flip flops on and shorts on in the woods. So that tells you how warm it is. I'm a boot man myself, so. But here's uh here's Dawn's uh she's got the uh, the castle here. You know here's uh here's my Dawn. She's trying to listen to the weather. But this is Dawn's castle in here. Look at this. She's she's roughing it in here, boys. Let me tell you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Great. So. If it gets really nasty and we get some nice lightning shots, guys, I'll bring you back. Otherwise, uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, guys, as you can hear, it, the storm is here. It's pouring really nice, hard. Uh, I do have all the windows open, and I'm underneath just the tarp, and it's the setup is working perfectly. I'm not getting wet at all. I got a nice breeze coming through, and uh, I like it. This is a this is a great idea, great setup. Um, I'm low enough to the ground here, and or the tarp's low enough to the ground to keep uh, the rain off of me, and um, enough to let the air come through too. So that helps out a lot. Because it, it's muggy, it's thick up here, it, the air is heavy. Um, so, we'll see how the night goes. They're talking some severe weather, uh, bad storms, up to 60 mile an hour winds, so we'll see. So, I'll talk to you later. Today, I'm going to do my review for the summer camping with the uh, Archer Outdoor Gear. Guys, I want to tell you that I, I just spent the last night in probably one of the worst storms that I have in years. And as my witness, I've got Dawn from South Paul Bushcraft. I got my Dawn and we got Hunter here. I want to tell you this, this gear that uh, Mike and Paul sent me from uh, Archer Outdoors was top notch. I actually had a door open and I was videotaping the storm 
This tarp that was on top kept me totally dry. The tent was totally dry. I had a breeze the night before. It was great because it was, I had everything opened up. It's big enough for me to fit in and I'm 6'5". Wonderful tent, wonderful gear. And <coughs> Dawn will verify the storm last night. The storm was absolutely brutal. Um, we had some some type of tornadic action in here, and um, so this thing held up. It stayed up. It provided a great shelter for him, and I'm impressed with it enough that I'm going to look into getting a same type of setup for myself. So, you guys, when you look at your storm, if you got something coming in, um, like last night, we found out I had a widow maker above me, so I had to move my tent around, and I just plopped underneath here. And I set my tarp up the way the direction was the storm storm was coming from, so I pitched the side in the back, and my other side is open. I got enough room in here, I can stand up inside underneath the tarp. Um, it's a great setup. There's so many lanyards in here and tie and loops that you can do so many different things with this, and it's an awesome piece of equipment. Very light. The tarp itself is only, I think, a pound and a half, maybe two pounds, or, and a tent might be two and a half pounds. It is... Uh, it's a great thing to have. The silver underneath. Yeah, it's got silver underneath here. Very, very breathable. Very nice. Um, airflow because of how the, uh, the tent is set up. I had it open on the back side, so you got um, wide open spaces above you. It's got vents on the bottom, which are great. And you can open both sides of the doors and wing out the arms on there. And it is wonderful the vestibule is on both sides guys not just the front so that's cool they saw you can pick it up from the top plop it wherever you want it's a great tent great gear held up wonderfully i was dry completely my other tent didn't do so hot and that's a swiss army tent <laughs> that one was leaking on dawn like a sieve we actually had to come out in the middle of a, of a rainstorm and grab a tarp so we could throw across the top of it and from keep it from raining in so that'll tell you even under this canopy how hard it was raining last night it was it was unbelievable um we really want to i want to thank uh dawn from bushcraft or uh south ball bushcraft for having us out this weekend it was a blast um i got to try a bunch of different gear um some of her gear some of my gear and just have a fun time with another bushcrafter and doing the stuff that we love to do so, you guys, thanks for watching. Y'all take care, and God bless.